Wanted Adventure, hosted by Donna Newman. There were a lot of amazing things that I learned as a kid. Of course, I was basically learning about everything around me. But there are a few things that when I learned them as a kid, they made such an impression on me that I can remember that moment to this day, that moment of just like, that's how it works in this world? Like mind blown amazing to learn about these things. And so I just thought I'd share a few of those today. The first one that I'm gonna share, I'm not sure now exactly how old I was when I learned this. I remember learning about this in school when we started studying tectonic plates. So I think that was like, third or fourth grade in elementary school. So I think like eight or nine years old. So by this point, I had seen the map of the earth lots and lots of times. And I knew about continents and I knew how the continents looked, how they were arranged on the earth. And then the teacher introduced us to tectonic plates and from one moment to the next, I became aware of the fact that at some point, the continents had not been laid out as they are now, you know, as separate continents, but that they had all been together in one supercontinent. And specifically, at this point, we learned about Pangaea. That moment, that moment of realization when I looked at the map again, and I clearly saw that obviously South America could fit so, like it looked perfect into Africa. And like, I, I, I'm pretty sure the teacher showed us some kind of animation or something where all of the continents kind of slowly came together and showed how Pangaea would have fit together like a puzzle. And when I saw that, it was like something opened up in my brain, this whole new way of seeing the world. For me, that was a big moment. It felt to me like this is a game changer. Okay, the next one, again, I'm not exactly sure how old I was. Whenever we were learning in school about decimals, fractions, and percentages. This one was more than just a moment. This was actually for me so much mind blown that I needed a, f a few weeks, maybe even a couple of months to really digest this. And that's the fact that fractions, decimals, and percentages are different ways to express the same thing. When it all came together and the teacher was trying to get us to understand that one over two can be expressed as 50%. It can also be expressed as 0.5. And I was like, what? One over two, 50%, it's a decimal 0.5. How are these things all the same? So on the one hand, it was a little hard to grasp, but it was also, as I did come to terms with this, for me like, wow, the world. I just put another piece of the puzzle together. Another one, for this one I'm 90% sure that I was in fourth grade because I really remember my fourth grade teacher, we were learning about the Statue of Liberty and I can remember my fourth grade teacher going up to the flip chart and she took the marker and she drew a square on the flip chart, like a pretty big square, like that big. And she said, this is the size of one fingernail on the Statue of Liberty. I had heard that the Statue of Liberty was big, you know, but to see that and be like, look at my own fingernail and look at that square, or not square, but rectangle that she drew. I was like, I could start to sort of comprehend the size of the Statue of Liberty. And to this day that has stuck with me. And I've always wanted to go and see it for myself, the Statue of Liberty, but that for me was like, whoa! And the last one that I'd like to mention in this video is, again, I don't know how old I was, younger for this one. I don't think I was in school younger than that. 
I really don't remember, but the moment when I learned, so of course, you know, I knew the sun, like I could see it outside and I knew stars, like I saw those at night. But then at some point when I was little, I learned that the sun, that big yellow thing during the day was in fact a star. The yellow thing during the day was the same kind of thing as the little dots up there in the night sky. Only the yellow thing during the day was much, 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 much closer to us. And that is why it was so much bigger. And when I learned that, it was just like, what? I was like, I need, I need to find out some more information about this. And I was glad that as I grew older, we did get to find out more information about that. So my question for you is, what are some things that you learned as a kid that made you go like, wow, that's amazing. Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's video where I'm talking about German and American handwriting. Until next time, until tomorrow, Auf Wiedersehen. Wanna watch another video? Here are two. And a really, really, really big thank you so much to our patrons on Patreon who help make these videos possible. Thank you so much for your support. Bis morgen!